Simultaneous equations four. This is all about how we form equations and then right at the end how we set out our answers correctly. So here's our question here. We've got two drinks and three sweets cost five pounds. Five drinks and two sweets cost eight pounds ten. Form two equations to determine how much the drinks and sweets are each. So the first thing I must do is determine my variables or set them out. So I'm going to say D is the cost of a drink. No, I put cost of a drink, I just don't put D equals drink, it's the cost that I want to know about this drink. And I'm going to make S the cost of one lot of sweets. Okay. So then literally, I just make two equations with it. So I know that two drinks, so 2D, add 3S, three sweets, and that costs five pounds, so equal to five. The second equation, five drinks and two sweets cost eight pounds ten, so five times the cost of a drink plus two times the cost of sweets is equal to eight pounds ten. So there's my two equations, and then I can solve them as shown by my previous um, videos. Lastly, okay, now let's think about what you would get at the end. So you're going to get that um, D is equal to 1.3, and you're going to get S is equal to 0 0.8. Well, remember, this is all to do with money. So if I have to give my answers, I really should have D as £1.30 and S as 0 0.80 pounds or ATP. So here's our second example. We've got two tables and two chairs are six meters long, one table and seven chairs are six meters long, form two equations to determine the length of the chair and table. So first thing I must remember to do is to define my variables. So I'm going to say that T is the table length, okay, and that will be in meters, and that uh, C be chair length. Okay, and divide my variables. Now I can write out my two equations. Well, two tables and two chairs are six meters long, so that's 2t plus 2c is equal to six. And one table, so that's going to be t plus seven chairs is equal to six meters long. Then I would need to uh, solve that, and what you get at the end is that you get that t is 2.5 meters and that C is 0 0.5 metres. Note that I've put the units back in.